Hello everybody, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this 2023 Ford Transit 250. This has a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine, a 10 speed automatic transmission, and it is all wheel drive. Starting off up front, we have a massive, massive grille to allow for maximum airflow. Really nice headlight setup with some bi-xenon HID headlights as well as incandescent accent lighting. Fog lighting is gonna be down here in the lower portion of the bumper accompanied by some front parking sensors. This guy does have black wheels as well. Massive mirrors with blind spot mirror as well as blind spot monitoring. Huge windows up front. The passenger side does have a massive uh, window as well. And you actually enter the vehicle uh, for the passengers or the people in the back from the passenger side. Coming around to the back, we have, again, massive tail lights that are incandescent. Parking sensors integrated into the lower portion of the bumper. Looks like you have your hitch receiver and your four pin and seven pin connectors. Ford badging on the passenger side. All wheel drive EcoBoost badge and Transit 250 badge on the driver's side. Absolutely tons of space in this guy. Your gas uh, is uh, your gas cap is going to be right in here, and you have to actually open the door to get to it. Really, really cool high roof cargo van. Tons of space on the inside. Let's take a closer look at the inside of the vehicle. So, something that I love about these vans is the sheer amount of space that you have. Um, tons and tons of visibility out the windshield. Tons of visibility about out the uh, windows as well. Starting off on the left side, you have the window controls for the vehicle. We also have your mirror controls as well as the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. Down here we have your uh, hold button, I believe. And then we have your electronic parking brake. Nice little storage cubby right here. Water bottle in there. Cup holder that can fit a, a massive, massive cup or mug. Tons of storage up here. You have a USB and USB type C, or I mean just a regular USB type C and a 12 volt outlet right here for the driver. Tons of storage, tons of storage here, as well as up here, and even on the passenger side. Coming to the steering wheel, we have a leather wrapped steering wheel with very mild bolsters at 10 and two. All of your cruise control buttons and your uh, gap adjustment for your uh, adaptive cruise control are gonna be right here. On the left side, underneath that, you have your steering wheel mounted audio controls. Over on the right side, you have some more steering wheel mounted audio controls as well as the control buttons for the center LCD display. Tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, miscellaneous gauges down below in the middle, and then your LCD screen. Coming over here, we have a really nice, pretty large touchscreen display where everything is controlled. The uh, Radio is controlled through here. The climate control is controlled through here. It does have the card system. You also are gonna get, I believe, wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. Very, very neat, very minimalistic. Volume knob right here, as well as some other um, drive modes for the vehicle. This whole bar, when you push anywhere on it, the entire bar pushes in, but it actually is somewhat touch capacitive where it knows where you are pushing, which is pretty sweet. Under that, you have your hazard light button, USB for either the driver or the passenger, another 12 volt outlet, more cup holders, more storage trays, integrated trailer brake control down here with another storage tray. There's just storage everywhere in this vehicle. Taking a look at the passenger seat, cloth seats with nice armrests. This guy does have a nice glove box as well. Little storage cubby there, big cup holder over there. Up top right here we have the cargo lamp button for the interior. All the interior lights are LED, which is really nice. And then we have your dome map light master controls, regular non-dimming rear view mirror. I am gonna move this seat back just to show you the sheer amount of space above the driver and passenger seats. I'll try and do this all one take for you guys. You have a nice little storage tray above the passenger and driver up top, as well as some uh, rubber lined storage trays right here. I am standing up fully in this vehicle. Tons and tons of headroom. It is very bright with the LED 
cargo lights. Tons and tons of space. And you do have a nice amount of natural light through this massive single pane window. Getting out through the door is very easy. You just pull on this and it goes all the way back for maximum cargo loading ability. Right here, we have the rear door. You come onto the passenger side, push this latch, and you can get out. Now, if you're opening this door from the back, you're gonna come up to it, pull on this, and it's gonna stop right here, almost flush with the body. If you need maximum cargo loading ability, you're gonna unlock this, it's gonna come all the way back, and it's gonna lock on this magnet right here. So that way now, if you're gonna use this and you're gonna have a forklift put stuff in here, you can open these all the way and a forklift can get up right to the bumper. Tons and tons of space in here. Your backup camera is gonna be all the way up top right there. This thing is really, really cool. I would open this door fully, but there is another transit van right next to it. Be sure to look out for the Transit 350 HD video on the channel later, as well as the comparison between these two transit vans. To close it, you just simply reverse the process. The driver's side door needs to be closed first. Because this is just a magnet, you can simply pull it off. And then once it goes back, it will automatically lock back into place and you're good to go. Coming back around to this side, like I said, this door is absolutely massive. Getting up and in is real easy. I'm almost six feet tall on a good day and I still have about maybe 10 inches to a foot of room before my head hits the top of this guy. Tons and tons of space in here. Let's take a quick look at the towing and payload sticker and then we'll take a look at the window sticker. So here's the towing and payload sticker for this vehicle. Keep in mind if you see one on your local dealer lot that is slightly different, it could be because how it's optioned. Uh, typically the more options you have, the less towing and payload you'll get. Let's take a quick look now at that window sticker. Here's a window sticker for this vehicle. Again, it is a uh, 2023 Transit 250 high roof cargo all wheel drive with a 3.5 EcoBoost and a 10 speed automatic transmission. Base price is 53,345. Optional equipment's gonna be all right here in this big uh, square. Most notably, we have the 3.5 EcoBoost gas for 1775, as well as some um, Sync 4 HD nav for 2050, and then a lot of other miscellaneous charges, bringing the total MSRP to 64,280. And then because this is considered a heavy duty vehicle, it is not applicable to the EPA requirements or estimates. I'd like to thank Spirit Ford for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in getting a 2023 or 2024 Ford vehicle, including the Transit Series, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Uh, talk to Cheryl, let her know you saw the video, and she'll be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more vehicle walkthroughs, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Please be sure to check out the uh, Twitter. I will be posting exclusive uh, content on Twitter before it gets to YouTube. So if you wanna see that, definitely go over there and uh, follow me on Twitter. And then please check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.